Well, here we are. Did you notice anything different about the office? Probably not. <laughs> but the blinds are gone. Terry, my wife Terry, had the whole bottom level, uh, the windows tinted, and then new carpet and new paint. Woo! <sighs> Craziness. All right. Enough of that fun stuff. Leighton in Charleston, South Carolina writes to me and he says, Paul, thanks for all your advice and knowledge you share with us. You recently spoke about the benefits of monoamps over stereo amps because of the separation in the power supplies. My question is regarding stereo amps that can be put into mono mode. Are they just turning off one of the secondary stages of the transformer? Is there further benefits to dedicated mono blocks versus stereo amps that can be put into mono mode? Well, from a power supply standpoint, a stereo amp bridged into a mono amplifier is identical basically to a dedicated mono amplifier. Okay, so from a power supply standpoint, they are the same thing. There, nothing is turned off. Basically what you do is you take the left channel and the right channel and you put signals into both of them. One signal is flipped out of phase. So as the voltage is going up, on let's say the left channel, the voltage is going down on the right channel. And when you put a pair of speakers uh, on the output between the two red terminals of the left amplifier and the right amplifier, you get this differential signal that comes out and you have four times the power that you had with just a stereo amplifier if the power supply is capable of handling that, which generally they are not. So um, you don't normally get four times the power, meaning if you started with a stereo pair of 100 watt amps, you could potentially, if it had an infinite power supply, you could wind up with 400 watts coming out of your mono amplifier. But typically that we don't get that much because those power supplies aren't that big. But to your question, yes, it's the same from a power supply isolation standpoint. Bridged amps aren't always as good as a dedicated mono amplifier, and we'll get into why that's true in a later episode. Is it, are these really episodes? <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.